Everything I say in this video are my own thoughts and opinions. You should look into the information for yourselves. Any pictures and articles used have been taken from public domain and social media and I'm using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealings guidelines. Well good evening everybody, it's the Dutch House of Monty Shit Show, I hope you're well today. I'm really sorry I've been a bit quiet lately. Some of you will know that I have a form of arthritis called psoriatic arthritis and I've been put on some medication which is basically low dosage chemotherapy so as you can imagine over the past week or so I've been feeling pretty yuck both physically and mentally however today is a good day and I'm feeling certainly better enough <laughs> to do a video now before I get on to the main business of the day I have a surprise for you later on in this video I will have a very special guest joining me to lend a hand and hopefully to provide a fresh perspective on certain things. So now, I saw something online today. Uh, it was an article that was posted yesterday on the official Teresa Longo fan page. Um, if you don't know what that is, the official Teresa Longo fan page uh, is basically a site where they put uh, exclusive breaking celebrity news and gossip, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, to be honest, I, I do trust this page. I found their articles and exclusives more often than not to be pretty accurate, um, certainly more so than the Crazy Days and Nights blind gossip website. Uh, and yesterday something was posted um, about Queenie. Um, and it's made me a bit uncomfortable uh, to read it, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely read it on here for you and uh, see what you think as well. Um, it says, a tragic update about Her Magic Majesty the Queen. Uh, we've been telling you about Her Majesty the Queen's inability to walk for weeks. She can stand to receive visitors. However, she is experiencing a lot of back pain, limiting her mobility. While in excruciating pain, she is not intent on masking it with heavy painkillers, nor does she want to treat it with typical pain relief. We have a sad news update from our palace source. Obviously, since the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Her Majesty the Queen has felt an immense sense of loss. The stress of the situation and the total embarrassment of Prince Harry's messy situation has literally been the final straw. While she is steadfastly committed to duty and enjoying her Platinum Jubilee year, she is succumbing to her limited mobility and her spirits have not been lifted. For many in the family and the firm, Harry's defection is downright disgusting and after the spectacle wedding and the immense lengths went uh, to welcome them into the fold. The interview the pair gave on Oprah is considered unforgivable and even slanderous by some. We can exclusively report that Her Majesty the Queen has no desire to continue rallying beyond her comfort zone. She is frail and she is indifferent to, rather accepting of, her decline. Harry is aware of Her Majesty the Queen's situation he refuses to return for service of thanksgiving for the life of His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip Duke of Edinburgh, and we have been reporting this since January 2022, before our Twitter account was shut down. We knew there were no itinerary plans for him or his family to make the trip to the UK. This is correctly being re reported as heartbreaking for Her Majesty the Queen, who wants nothing but to meet their daughter. She may be seen in a wheelchair in the coming months, but it is not her desire to be seen this way for reasons unknown. It will be interesting to see her at the service of Thanksgiving. She may remain seated or she may stand at times. This update, whilst sad, is not to say that she is giving up, but her will to continue and thus her health has been severely altered by horrific events of 2021 that befell her family. God save the Queen. Now, yeah, I mean, even just reading that again um, has just left me so uncomfortable. I mean, as the article quite rightly states, the Queen has had so much, definitely in 2021, but even as far back as 2018, 2019, 
there's been so much uh, going on with um, Harry and Meghan, obviously Megxit, and then she lost her husband of, you know, nearly 70 years. I mean, they were together, I think, 73 years. Um, you know, or maybe I got that wring <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Chemotherapy's gone to my brain, I think. Um, but obviously, you know, she w was with Philip all her life, you know, and then to lose him. Um, and then I think last year she lost her best friend, her lady in waiting. And then I think she lost at least one cousin as well. Um, if you factor in then all this bunkum with Prince Andrew and, you know, the trial with Ghislaine Maxwell, you know, and, uh, obviously the continuing saga that is the charcoals, um, you know, it's just constant conveyor belt of personal swipes, attacks through the media, the Oprah interview, um, the Me You Can't See documentary that Harry did, where he was um, going on about his um, genetic pain. I th well, Lady C actually said he, it's supposed to be called um, generational pain. I, I personally think, you know, that sounds <laughs> much more likely than genetic pain, but, you know, okay, whatever, we'll go with it. You know, and then Harry and Meghan's constant interference in UK and American politics. And now what seems an endless stream of lawsuits, you know, they're suing, you know, the government because they won't provide security for Harry, which is why he won't come over, which is why the Queen can't meet Invisibit, <laughs> as I call her, Invisibit, because she's rarely seen, Um you know, and then Meghan already sued a and um, Associated News. Harry is in the process of suing a and um, Now, you know, Samantha Markle is suing Meghan Markle. And it's just... At what point has any of these people just stopped to consider what it's doing to the Queen? You know, either directly or indirectly. Um I mean, it's ob it's obvious to everyone. She's lost so much weight, and she's I mean, she is ninety five. God bless her, and she's you know, you know, she's had so so many problems. I mean, she had the back problems. Uh, I think they started certainly became noticeable um, last year. She wasn't able to attend the Remembrance Day service in the UK. I think the official reason given then was she'd sprained her back. Um, obviously. You know, um, I can't remember if it was January or February, but earlier this year, you know, she came down with COVID, um, you know, and she seemed to be, you know, she seemed to recover quite well from that. She was starting to resume her in-person engagements, um, you know, and then I think there was a photo came out last week or the week before where the Queen met uh, Justin Trudeau and... I think her, she made a remark to him that she couldn't stand or she couldn't walk to him. And yeah, it's just it's just so sad, you know. And um, I mean, what, what what can you say, really? I mean, she she's just like the nation's granny, isn't she? You know, I've unfortunately, I've lost all of my grandparents now. My final grandparent, my granddad died in 2016. Um, and it was just so sad to see his decline. I mean, it happened over a space of two weeks it was quite a, a quite a quick decline but it was still really sad to see um you know and I mean the poor the poor woman you have to admit she's heartbroken she's absolutely heartbroken her son has you know just I mean I'm not willing to get into the whole Andrew is he guilty is he not that's not something I ever comment on I don't know enough about the case and about the circumstances to make comments so I don't um I don't necessarily think he's guilty of what he was or what definitely what Virginia Giuffray is you know saying I think he's been extremely stupid you know getting too close and starting and you know nurturing a friendship with Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell I think all I'm willing to say is that you know he's been extremely stupid um, and you know, arrogant and ignorant, but I, I'm not so sure he's done much beyond that. But I think he's more guilty by association. I think is what I'm really trying to say. But anyway, moving on. So yeah. So and then obviously Harry. I mean, yeah. So he he can't come over 
because the UK is not safe, but he can go to a rodeo in Texas. Um, and whilst I'm on the subject, <laughs> I, got, I got so many, um, so many comments on my last video because I wasn't sure whether you guys said rodeo or rodeo. Now, I stand corrected. It's rodeo unless we're talking about Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. I think that's right. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make that clear. I've been corrected many, 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 many times. I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, live and learn. <laughs> you know, you, know you, the Americans certainly have, a, you know, some issues pronouncing some of the UK place names. This is no different. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I would now like to introduce you to my very special guest. Um, some of you will know him, some of you may not. Um, his name is Clark and he is my youngest son. Um, let me just, before I say something, you can say hi Clark. Hi guys. <laughs> so if you don't know Clark or you don't know about Clark, I'll just tell you about him briefly. Um, as I say, he is the youngest of my three children. He is 11. Now, Clark uh, is a, a very special lad, uh, as many of you will know if you follow his Twitter account. Um, you know, he's a, you know, he's an absolute legend, aren't you, mate? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no hesitation. Yeah. No, no hesitation that way. No hesitation whatsoever. Um, Clark has... Um, well, he's uh, moderately deaf. He has hearing aids now. And as a result of the um, hearing loss, he has speech and language delay and he has various special needs and learning disabilities. But we're getting there, aren't we, Wait? Yeah. Yeah. So just ask you some questions. I mean, because you obviously know what I do yeah. on Twitter and you know that I like to talk about the royal family. and Of course. Of course. So, just saying, so talking about the Queen, do you know much about the Queen? Uh, yeah, she's actually a really good Queen and she's also trying to protect us from Harry and Meghan from insulting us. <laughs> what do you think the Queen does? What, what's her job? Um, to, um, whenever there's a law made, she has to tell and even warn everyone around this country. And she also has to uh, work like every day, and she also gets lots of like letters about about what's going on around the world. That's right. Yeah, you've got a good grasp on that, haven't you? I know. <laughs> I've been studying, to be honest. You've been studying. Oh, well done. Keep it up, mate. So I'm going to ask you another question. Okay, you know, you've obviously heard what I've just had to say about Harry and Meghan. Mm -hmm. Do you think that their behaviour, do you think it's really upsetting the Queen? What do, what do you think? Because they're, they're being quite naughty, aren't they? Well, yeah, of course. And obviously the Queen is not very happy because obviously she is fed up with Harriet and Meghan. Mm. So that's why we literally changed their names into, the, into a new one that we call it, instead of Duchess of Sussex, we call it the Duchess of the S word, the A word, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. And by the way, I don't want to say the, in the A word because that will be like very rude and it will be around the world, which is quite insulting. <laughs> yeah, so, so you think the Queen's really sad? Well, also, she's angry because who else wouldn't be angry with Harry and Meghan? Because they're literally insulting us. And also, they literally made America believe that we are literally racist. I know, and that's not a good thing to say, is it? Especially when it's not true. No, it's not true at all. And it's literally... And besides, when we literally met and first met Harry and Meghan around, the, around our country... Mm -hmm. mm, They've been so rude that, thank goodness to the Queen, we will be able to ban her from coming back to this country. But unfortunately, she created her own army in America. And so now they believe that we are racist and we are not innocent to prove that we are not racist and Harry and Meghan is the one that is may, ra may rude than usual. Okay. Finished? <laughs> 
<laughs> you went on a bit of a rant there, didn't you? Well, yeah, because I'm fed up with Harry and Meghan. They're stupid. They're uh, they're literally like so stupid I that think... they literally are uh, keep on assaulting England. Yeah, I know, I know. They're just telling their truth, though, aren't they? But their truth doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth, does it? Yeah, because what? Yeah, in truth means truth, and lie means lie. Absolutely. And what do you think they're doing? Do you think they're telling the truth, or do you think they're telling a bit of a porky pie? They're obviously telling a bit of a porky pie, and I remember when they were in court, and Megan was able to get away with it. What did she do? She literally told lots of lies to the court, and then after that, the other person starts to explain, and then who, and then the person that who won was them, and then they will be able to they they will be able to get away with it, and we don't like that at all. She needs to go to jail. <laughs> no, okay, it's no, don't don't laugh. This I'm not sounds... laughing. I'm just laughing at your passion. It's a good thing. Never lose it. <laughs> okay, he looks like he's going to punch something in a minute in my car. <laughs> yeah, so so we're looking forward to the Queen's Jubilee celebrations this year, aren't we? Yeah. What do you think we're going? Do you think I don't know if we're going to have a street party? I don't think our road will do that, will they? They don't really no. do do things like that. No. But I'm sure there'll be something going on somewhere that we can join in. Yeah. Yeah. And what should we do? Should we? wave some flags and we sing God Save the Queen? How does, yes. how does that sound? It sounds very exciting and very calm. Yeah? yeah? Very calm. That's what the world needs to be right now, isn't it? It's very calm. And also, guys, don't forget to uh, and thank Queen Gertie for making a video about my birthday because now we're going to London, but we don't know when, and we're going to meet the Lords. <laughs> so um yeah something like that <laughs> there you go Gertie you got a, a free unplanned shout out <laughs> anyway guys uh, I'm gonna head in because it is raining and Clark and I are sitting in the car and to be honest I want to go in and have some dinner <laughs> so I'm so starved you're so starved <laughs> I starve you do I no no <laughs> okay so I hope you guys are keeping well you know, I should be hopefully feeling better, properly better in the next couple of days and I can go back to our regular videos. Um, but I just wanted to pop on just to let you know that I'm still around. And yeah, from Clark and I, have a really good night. Say bye, Clark. Bye, guys. Bye. Don't, Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> bye.